Mary Pascal has already won $8,500. She is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint today on Scrabble. An eight-letter word. The clue is, it's harder than you think. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thank you, Charlie Chula, and welcome to the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home Viewer Word was sent in by uh, Karen Player from Jackson, Georgia. Got a t-shirt for her. Today, the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at $5,000. The winner's going to get a chance that later on the show. And if you watched last week, you know that this is our last week on the air. Forever. Scrabble is going away, and I'm going with it. And Charlie has our first two players. Charlie. She's our champion. He's a writer. Originally from Parma, Ohio, Mary Pascoe. And originally from Santa Barbara, California, Zach Klobuchar. All right, nice to have you both here. Welcome back, Mary. Thank you. Mary's up to $8,500, getting the cash while it's still hot. Oh, Tell me yeah. about yourself. Well, I am a recent graduate from UC Irvine. I just moved here from Newport Beach. I live in Van Nuys now, and I'm a sales representative for a major corporation. Great. Nice to have you back, Mary. Good luck to Great you today. Great to be here. How are you doing, Zach? Um, okay, and you? Well... <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing. So, tell me about yourself. Tell me about, uh, you well, tied that yourself, didn't you? I, I did. Tell. That's not one of those things that you clip on. Yeah. That's great. Well, you got two points of me already. <laughs> Anybody can tie a bow tie. I mean, that's great. Well, tell me about yourself, Zach. Well, I graduated from Harvard a few years ago. Harvard? And, and like came in Harvard out, in Boston? Uh-huh. And oh. uh, came out here to be a temp. <laughs> to be a temp. <laughs> Well, what did you study in Harvard? Uh, English. I was an English major. Well, see, that's about it. There's not much besides talking. Yeah. <laughs> you could help me through the show, probably. Yeah. You're the challenger. We're going to go first. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to Scrabble Sprint and a chance to bonus of 5,000. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. Building on the letter A, nine letters in the word. And the clue is they're all talk and no action, speaking of talk. <laughs> now, uh, watch out for the pink and blue squares. This is the last time I'm going to tell anybody to do that in my life. Okay, they're, they're all money. talk and no action. I'll take the one and the five. M or an I? Uh, the M, please. Oh, that's a stopper, Mary. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take the eight, please. N or an I? Place the N. That's a stopper. Back Ooh. to you, Zach. <laughs> I'll take the nine. A K or an I? The K. <laughs> oh, I can't. How did you guys do that? <laughs> Well, folks, we're really rolling uh, now, aren't we, huh? Uh, you, know, you know what this is, do you, Mary? No, I well, don't. Put your hand on your buzzer and don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. The last one's up to you. Both of you do that. They're all talk and no action. Ready? Go. They're all talk and no action. Good puzzle, actually. They're all talk and no action. Zach Celibate. See, being an English major, he would know that. Okay, Mary, building on the letter I and celibate, six letters in the word. The clue is some husbands have been shocked by it on their wedding night. Okay. Could we get a little scream or something, Jeff? I mean... Yeah. I had a sound effect in mind, actually, but thank you. Go ahead. I don't know it. I'm going to have to take two tiles. I'll take the seven and the three. D or a B? Uh, the B, please. Some people are tuning in I'm, right now I'm, saying, no wonder they're going off the air. <laughs> well, they didn't realize we've been doing this for six years, just like this. Go ahead, Jack. Take four. D or an N? Place the N. Some husbands have been shocked by it on their wedding night. And the D. I don't see it. Got to take the eight. Did we hear that in the audience? The one. Did someone say that? Yeah, did you hear it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Mary heard it, so we got to cancel it. Got to take that out, okay? Be very quiet in the audience now. They obviously had electric eel for dinner. That's why it was shocking. Okay. Here we go, Mary, back with you, building on the letter E in dinner. There it is. It was dinner, yeah. Nine letters. The clue is, they're almost invisible when their taillights aren't working. That's they're, another good puzzle. They're almost invisible when their taillights aren't working. That's right. I might... Know it. You want to try it? I'm, no. No, oh, I want to. Okay. There's some pink asking. squares there. I'll take the seven. 
We're going to be in the days of our lives anyway with this show. So. <laughs> and the four. Well, you've got a great choice. How about the L? They're almost invisible when their taillights aren't working. I think that... I think that's a stopper. Firefly? That's right, it is Firefly. Yes, very nice to go. Try to it up. Okay, Zach. Building on the letter I and Firefly's five letters in the word, the clue is they're a major part of many marketing strategies. Okay. I'll take the three and the seven. Now the W and an S. Um, W, please? No. That's a stopper. Yeah. I have Sure, they're a major part of many marketing strategies. Many marketing strat strategies. I'll take a six. Have an N or an S. The N. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> All right, Zach. Okay, I'll take the Stop four. Stop a city. It is. E or an S. Oh, I'll take the E. Well, gee, they did it again. Are you ready for that? Hands on your buzzers. No. Here we go. They're a major part of many marketing strategies. Ready? Go. Major part of it. Zach. Lists? That's right, it's lists. It's two to one. Okay, we're just rolling right along here. Zach's going for the game. Mary's trying to tie it up, building on the letter S in lists. A seven-letter word. The clue is X-ray technicians have a lot of it. X-ray technicians have a lot of it. Ready? Okay. The eight and the four. Enter an O. The N. X-ray technicians have a lot of it. And Theo? Zach? I think I know what it is. Go for some cash. Okay. The one and the six. I or a G. Place the I and the G. Well, what are you going to do now? It's two to one. You're ahead. If you get this, you win the game. And go on the place where oh, cash. Okay. <laughs> Still two stoppers, right? Take the five, take the seven, place the T. X-ray technicians Insight. have a lot of insight. That's what they got. They didn't get any money. Cool. But you did good, kiddo. You did very well. 8,500 ahead. That's Thank not too bad. Thanks Thank for coming so on the show. One of our last contestants on Strava. And uh, Zach's up to 500. He's going to try for 1,000 uh, right after this. We'll be back. to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Zach Klobuchar has $500, going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword will come up here and try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger, because that's what stops the clock. And there are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. I bet you thought you'd go through life without anyone telling you to hit your plunger. With <laughs> hope. With hope, but no, well. First word, five letters. He really knows how to take it. He really knows how to take it. Ready? Ready. Go. T. F. H. He really knows how to take it. C. That's it. Second word, seven letters. They're originally from New York. They're originally from New York. Ready? Ready. Go. S. E. Keep e. It. Keep going. O. Keep going. Dodgers. Yes. Don't double call those. <laughs> <laughs> Third word, eight letters. Well, you got away with it. Third word, eight letters. He was a big kid. He was a big kid. Ready? Ready. Go. N. N. S. He was a big kid. D. U. A. He was a big kid. Sundance? Yeah, I have no, I have no idea what that means. I don't either. <laughs> Unless as a small child he was a goat. I have no idea. What, what is the relationship with that? Sundance, uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I guess he wasn't a goat. Okay, last word, nine letters. Home security systems. Home security systems. Ready? Ready. Go. G. H. S. Home security systems. T. D. W. Home security systems. C. Watchdog. Yeah, I think you had a good time on all the four of those. You really do. 31.5 sounds long, but I don't think those are that easy. We'll find out, put it to the test, take a commercial break, come back and find a challenge. We'll be right after this.
Klobuchar is our champion. A Harvard grad in English looking for a job. So if anybody out there has a job for him, give him a call. Well, he's an English major, real bright guy. Okay, going to uh, meet two new contestants, and Charlie's got them. Charlie? She's a laborer. He's in catering. From Enumclaw, Washington, Kathy Smith. And from Kent, Washington, Terry Neal. All right, nice to have you both here. All right, Kathy. Great, hey, Eagle Claw, Washington. No, Enum Claw. Oh, Enum. I was going to say Eagle Claw. What a great name. But that other one's not that great. Sorry. <laughs> we like it. What does Enum Claw mean? You really want to know? Yeah, I do. If you don't mind. They're going to hate me back home. Um, it means devil spirits or evil spirits. Evil spirits. Oh, what a great place to live. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> But we like to be known as the gateway to Mount Rainier. Oh, I see. Yeah. So. Well, that'll give you an idea. Tell yeah. me about yourself, Kathy, besides living in the, uh, under the... Uh... The mountain. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm a mother of three and a half children, and number four is blasting out Fourth of July. Really? Yes. And my husband, Rick, and I have been married ten years, and we just bought our first house. Oh, that's exciting. That's yeah. great. In Enumclaw. In Enumclaw, Washington. Oh, that's great. Well, nice to have you here, well, Kathy. You. Good luck to you. Thanks. Hi, Terry. Hi, Jack. Tell me about yourself. Now, you're from Washington, too, aren't you? I'm from Washington, too. Um, I'm a hotel restaurant administration major. I'll be graduating from Washington State University in a few years, and I work for a couple of catering companies, one specializing in cruise ships, the other in airlines. That's enough, Terry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to Enumclaw? Yes, I have. Many a time. Oh, it's a well, lovely town. I'll be darned. Okay. Yeah. Okay, who won the tossback stage? I did. Let's go to the board, Kathy. You're too excited. Here we go. Building on the letter E, eight letters in the word, and the clue is don't do it on my account. Don't do it on my account. That's right. Okay, let's take tile five and tile four. Well, you got a good choice there. Well, let's take the left E. And that's the one you got. The clue one more time. Uh, don't do it on my account. Okay, let's take the other E. You got three E's up there. Well, this one's worth $500. Any ideas what it might be? No, no inspiration guesses. yet. Okay. okay, let's try tile 10 and tile 1. L and a B. Let's try the L, please. And let's try the B. Don't do it on my account. Oh, still no clue. Okay, let's take tile 6 and tile 9. Well, you're real excited about this, aren't you? I so happy to be here. Are you really? I really am. Oh, that's nice. A or a Z? Let's try the A. No, I'm sorry. It's a stopper. Okay, Terry. Okay. Don't do it on my account is the clue. Let's see. I need to draw a tile. That'd be a good idea. Oh, uh, the three. K or a Z? I'll take the Z. And I believe that's embezzled. That's right. It is embezzled, yes. Okay, Kathy, building on the letter E and embezzle, six letters in this word. The clue is in Hollywood, a lot of actresses bend over backwards to get it. Okay, let's try number seven and number eight. M or an R? Let's try the M. And oh, let's Mr. try Zucker, the... I just bend over backwards to get that. <laughs> let's try the R. Okay. In Hollywood, a lot of actresses bend over backwards to get it. Hmm, let's try number one and number four. Another M and a G. Let's try the G. Nope, that's no good. Okay, Terry. Okay, we'll take the five. M or an I. Place the I, please. $1,000 in Hollywood. A lot of actresses bend over backwards to get it. Come on, Terry. No? I don't know it. Hmm. Place the M. That's a stopper. It's all yours, Kathy. Okay, let's try tile two and tile six. A B or an L. Um, let's try the B. In Hollywood, a lot of actresses bend over backwards to get it. Can't give you the last uh, letter. Limber? Yeah, that's a B. <laughs> what were you thinking of, Kathy? It was limber. Building on the letter I in limber, Terry, nine letters in the word. The clue is, a lot of them are six feet under. Give you a thousand dollars when you tell me what it is right now, Terry. Under. I think I'm pretty safe on that, but... No? I don't know. We'll take the four and the six. E or a G. Place the E. And the G. Nope, that's a stopper. Kathy? Okay, let's try tile three and tile eight. S or an L. The clue one more time. Uh, a lot of them are six feet under. Okay, let's try the L. 
Andy S. Tile one and seven. Another E and an A. A, please. Nope, that's a stop. It's over to you, Terry. All right, I'll take the two. And place the S, please. That's a stopper. That's all three of them. Do you know what it is, Kathy? I don't. All right, going to play speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's up to you. Here we go. A lot of them are six feet under. Ready? Go. Terry. Pipeline. That's exactly right with $1,000. Whoa. Whoa, where did he get that one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, one thousand. Hey. Bell means we're out of time. Going to play the rest in speed word. Already giving you your instructions. Uh, Kathy's trying to tie it up. Terry's going for the game. We're building on the letter N in pipelines. Five letters in this word. The clue is he made some heavyweight connections. Ready? Go. He made some heavyweight connections. Tyson. You got it. Yeah, that's it. Anybody following the box and that right away? Well. We're going back to Emu, Emu... Enumclaw. Enumclaw, Enumclaw. Yeah, but we got something for you. Okay, So great. you can see your way back. Kathy, for you, limited edition Ray-Ban precious metal sunglasses by Bausch & Lohm. Feature rare metals in 24 karat gold frames with changeable lenses. Available in gray, black, or white. 24 karat gold frame. Good night. Pretty nice. Thanks, Thank Kathy. Nice to meet you, too. Good luck with the baby. Thank you. Yeah. And Terry's got 1,500. He's going to try to make 1,000. We'll be back to watch it. Right after this. Oh, and now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Chuck Corbisher has $500, uh, 31.5 for four words, and Terry Neal has 1,500. This is 4,000. And uh, same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers. All the letters are good. Okay. Here we go. The first word has five letters. He really knows how to take it. Really knows how to take it. Ready? Ready. Go. T. F. I. He really knows how to take it. H. T. The second word has seven letters. They're originally from New York. They're originally from New York. Ready? Ready. Go. S. D. They're originally from Dodgers. That's right. The third word has eight letters. He was a big kid. He was a big kid. Ready? Ready. Go. N. S. E. He was a big kid. C. Sundance. That's right. 12.7 seconds for the last word. Nine letters. Home security systems. Home security systems. Ready? Ready. Go. H. C. A. Home security system. W. G. D. Watchdog. That's right. You got it, Terry. 3.4 seconds left. Well, it came on a little stronger than I thought there. He was doing great. Yeah, Zach. Zach's going to leave us with $500. Terry Neal has $2,500. He's going to try for five right after this. We'll be back. Right. Good, good, good job, Terry. To Chuck Willery and today's winner. Were you the nerves a little nervous? Oh, a little bit. Well, you already did. You did the hard part. This is just gravy. That's true. This is easy stuff. Yeah, but this is. Well, just look at it this way. At. You beat a guy who's an English. Sorry, Zach. You beat a guy who's an English major from Harvard. Oh my gosh. Now, where'd you go to school? Uh, I'm going to Highland Community College right now, transferring to Washington State University. See there? State just University. go back home and say I beat a guy from Harvard. <laughs> I'll tell that to all future employees. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> I got a few seconds to kill here. I'm just... Okay. You know. How's it look? <laughs> Do it right <laughs> off the clue. <laughs> we got our own time now? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. First word, six letters. You can get this off the clue. Okay. They help to pass the time. They help to pass the time. Ready? Ready. Go. S. L. K. They help to pass the time. Clocks. Yep, five seconds. So you're just a little bit over. Right? 
Seven letters. You can get this off the clue. But put a couple of letters up there because you got five seconds. Seven letters. It can be a severe blow to people. It can be a severe blow to people. Ready? Ready. Go. D. R. It can be a severe blow yes. to people. Well, there's hurricanes and there's... Tornadoes. Yeah, that's right. That's Unfortunately, that's I what it was. Yeah. Oh, well, I'd love to give that away. Well, next time. Uh, next time. Come $6,000. Uh, we've done enough for this show today. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Come on down to it. Scrabble, starring Chuck Willary, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tunney speaking. Later this morning, don't miss NBC News at sunrise at 5.30, followed by Channel 4's Today in L.A. at 6. Then at 7, it's the Today Show. Golden Girls at 9, followed by 227 at 9.30. Then don't miss the zany, fun-filled house party with Steve Ducey at 10, followed by Classic Concentration at 11. It's a great morning only on Channel 4. Scrabble is a Red Grammy production.